and tap, making a pair of shoes. In the shoemaker's shop, this refrain would never stop as he tapped away, working all the day. At his bench, there was he, just as busy as a bee. Little time to lose for the boots and shoes. Then he tapped and he stitched, for his fingers were bewitched, and he sewed a dream into every seam, making shoes of oh, so easy. Shoe repairing to me is a living. Well, it's honest work. It's honest work and hard work. And from day to day, uh, you just you just don't know. Once you open up the door of that store, you don't know what to expect. Every day is a different challenge in this business. The average person today doesn't like his job, isn't happy. I enjoy coming to work in the morning because it's a challenge. That's why I like my work. I like working with my hands. A lot of my customers uh, take my advice in repairing shoes. Of course, a lot of customers have faith in my work. Usually when they come in, they give me the bag and say, please take care of them. Whatever it needs, it needs. Because they know I'll do a good job. Today there's modern machinery. And there's a whole different way of fixing shoes. When you finish a pair of shoes, at least today, you could uh, notice the difference. The shoe looks new. It doesn't look like it's been repaired. Well, when I first started in this business, my father told me, he says, John, he says, you have to take a trade. And he says, this is a good trade. And it's good as any. He says, because don't forget, you have to remember one thing. People are always walking. And he says, as long as they're walking, you'll be working. And he says, just take a little pride in your work and you'll be a success. Well, all the way I've been saying, and I talked to my son John, that in the future, this is gonna be good trade. Always did I want to listen to me, but little by little, he put on his head to learn the trade. And today I want to say that uh, he come out a little profession, and I'm a proud of him. shoes, I feel it's like living life. I, I take my heart and soul into that shoe and I treat it just like it was my own. And I make a good job of it and I do the best I could, the best of my ability, the best of my craft. Shoe repairing is more than just fixing a pair of shoes. It takes a lot of work, a lot of know-how. Some people just don't understand what goes into it. They think that's all it is, is just banging on a hammer and, and that's it. Or banging on a pair of shoes and putting a nail in a shoe. But it takes more to it than uh, just that. There's not too many shoe repair men around today opening up stores or anything, because once the old timers go on, that's it. 
What remains is an empty store with a lock on it. I think today more young kids should go into this business. Or they should have schools for them to learn the trade. Because it's a good trade. After all, I mean, uh, like I said, you, we all can't be doctors or lawyers. Well, I owe my success to my father. Because when I was young, I never wanted to pick up a hammer or read a book or nothing. I was just like every other kid at 15 years old, stand on a corner. But today, I thank my father for breaking me into the business and showing me how that there's more to it in life than just standing on a corner. I feel I'm playing an important role in society because when I do a pair of shoes and they come out nice, I know the average guy outside can't do the same either. That's why I feel important. I feel like I'm wanted. The average person hasn't got the craft I have. It's all in my hands. Shoemaker today will always be. You'll need them today and you'll need them years to come. Because as long as people are walking, they're wearing shoes. And as long as they're wearing shoes, they're gonna need somebody to fix them. And that's me. In the shoemaker shop, this refrain would never stop as he tapped away, working all the day. At his bench, there was he, just as busy as a bee. Little time to lose for the boots and shoes. Then he tapped and he stitched, for his fingers were bewitched, and he sewed a dream into every seam. Making shoes oh so neat, just like magic on her feet, that he hoped she'd know that he loved her so.